Hey guys, welcome to Shodip Tutorials. This is the part two of inventory tutorial in Unity 2017. So let me show what previously we have done. So when you play the press I, it shows up, press I again and disappears. I and I. So from here we're gonna scale it. We're gonna you know modify a few things. So we're gonna make it functional. Uh, so let's change a couple of things. Um, so currently our inventory script is added to the main camera. Uh, let's see how the script looks. Uh, we're gonna modify the script a little bit. Let's rename a couple of things. Inventory active. Yeah, so we can delete that and we are going to. No, we can keep this here. My default is false. Uh, what else so we can we're gonna change the key code to tab and what we're going to do with this we press we're gonna negate this and we're gonna take out this outside okay so in uh, inventory active if it's active if it's uh, if it's true, then we're gonna um, we're going to hide the panel. Uh, so we're gonna show the panel. Okay, yeah. So we have to put this inside here. So we're gonna negate that after that. All right. Let's see. All right. There you go. Press tab, 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 tab. Right um so we are going to simplify all this actually um now we're going to keep this the same what we are going to do let's create a uh, let's create a plain object plane and we're going to make it a little bigger right and let's give it a material create a folder called materials inside we're going to create a material for our ground this give it a color let's apply this and give it a color of okay right click on assets and go to import package and go to characters uh, this is going to import we're going to import everything we have imported our uh, characters so go to uh, standard assets characters first person we're going to choose go to first person character we have prefab uh, we're going to choose fps controller drag that onto your um, stage so we're going to remove our main camera since we have a player first now uh, let's remove the main camera and we're going to expand the fps controller and click on first person character this is the camera we're going to uh, this is going to be our main camera make sure the tag is main camera and make sure to delete the other camera go to your assets and you have the inventory right we're going to rename it to uh, player right and we're going to create a folder called scripts i'm going to put the script inside the, uh, the scripts folder Also, also change the name of this so it's going to be a player our inventory um, and click on the FPS controller and drag it here we have the player here we have the panel and the panel is going to be the enter canvas okay let's try this tab yes it works right so we're going to add a crosshair right now so right click and canvas and right click on canvas go to image and you will see a square box now we're going to on the right side go to source image click on this you will see a window like this we're going to pick the this one right so we have this we're going to resize it to eight the canvas could be crosshair all right, we name canvas into crosshair click on image 
and click on this to center it and hold alt and double click on this and it will center it you have it in the center uh, we can change the color but we don't have to we'll change it to maybe green yellow um all right so let's give it a try play it'll be in the center there you go we have a crosshair right now and we have a fps controller all right it will make good progress right we want to uh, create an object called outside call it um items db this is going to store all of our items also going to rename one of these things so we have go to canvas uh, this is our inventory right inventory container and we're going to rename this one the the one the panel that's storing all the uh, slots uh, you know this is a raw image but we can uh, rename it to slot we're going to rename this to um, inventory slots okay so we're going to do a lot of scripting right now we have to create some items so right click create a new folder uh, create a new uh, object called items in here we're going to place some um cubes um cylinder sphere okay let's uh relocate them all right uh, so we have a couple of items and we are going to do a couple of things we're going to attach select all of them we're going to add a component and we're going to choose raw image right so they should all have raw image component attached to it uh, we would need png files 32 by 32 so we're going to create a new folder and call it icons image is something that you can create on your own go to paint Yeah, uncheck maintain aspect ratio 64 and this is going to give you 64 you're going to draw something quickly okay yeah do this all right so i'm going to save it as so you can go to your projects uh, and ss icons and it's going to be um, sphere And the next one is going to be this. All right, let's close that. We have icons and we should see icons here. So we have nice icons here. So what we're gonna do is you click on cube item and we're gonna uh, attach the cube icon that we have in this texture field. For cylinder, we're gonna add cylinder. And for sphere, we're going to add sphere. All right, so we have done. This is not visual. This is something we're gonna get when we try to pick it up. So we have to write some code right now, all right? So go to your script player. First, we're going to add a camera. We're going to call it FPS cam. We're going to call add a public float range. We're going to keep it range. Public game object items DB inventory slots. All right, so we have most of our code in the player, but this could be scaled. This could be broken down into multiple classes. Uh, but for the sake of uh, the tutorial video, I'm going to do it this way. We're going to also create. Um, this is we're going to keep this private. We're going to make another private called raw image. This is going to be our slots. We have the update. We're going to change the update to fixed update. We're going to add one more if so if input dot 
get key down key code equal e and when you press e we're going to pick up stuff and then we're going to call pick up item okay we have to create this in here we're going to say public void pick up item and here we're going to say request Request hit equal hit if physics can spell it right that request FPS cam dot transform position FPS cam dot transform board and I would hit all right now I'm gonna check this is very important I'm gonna check if it hits the right one so I'm gonna compare tag make sure I'm hitting the items otherwise you know you might end up um, altering the the ground or any other object or maybe your own camera we're going to go back to unity uh we're going to select all the items cube cylinder and sphere and we're going to go to tags we're going to uh, i already have it so you can go to add tag and add it and create a tag and attach an item tag to it yeah if you don't know how to do that you can just go to add tag and you just click, click on plus uh then it will you add it and make sure they're all tagged to item okay uh, now we can go back to our script so this is our item and then i'm going to do transform so i'm going to change its parent and make the parent of the items db so items db will become the parent of all the items uh, so so all of this will be moved into the item db because uh, you know i'll be storing them there every time the ones that i have in hand all right so this is what i will do then i'm going to add to inventory now i'm going to add this to inventory that would be pretty much um just the you know icon and stuff public void this so I'm trying so I'm going to grab the transform this is going to be the item and so I'm going to use this the raw image slots um, all right let's go back to unity and assign something so we should have a couple of uh, public okay let me see I have a, I have a bug here let me fix this okay there you go key code tab there you go anything else all right now it should be fine okay. if you go to fps controller uh, i should see all this public so we have panel we have fps cam we have range we have item db item inventory slot uh so the panel is the uh so we're going to rename this press rename the panel into uh, inventory container all right and so we're going to update this as well and go back and so we're going to drag and we're going to update all of this so first is the inventory container then fps cam fps cam is this one all right and then we have range is range four is fine item db is this then we have inventory inventory slots is um this one right the one that's storing all the slots so go to fps controller drag infinity slot here all right now we have something all right so so add inventory so let's do debug log here before we write more code so we're going to say adding to inventory all right and we can also add a debug here saying um hitting 
me say hit transform that name so every time we hit something it's going to hit um going to give us a name so this has to be e not tab my bad let's go back and try again you guys probably caught that before right uh, it's probably late at night um let's see go there close e oh, there you go see that on the console uh it says add adding to inventory hitting cylinder um so here adding to inventory hitting hitting cube there you go hitting sphere so if i do it from far away right let me clear this if i do it from far away it's not going to work because our range is four right so i have to be close if i do it from here it's not going to work because you don't want to pick it up pick up something uh from from far away right you have to go to close and i'm i'm not using the box collider box collider is another way of doing it uh, but since you're going to have a cross here you might as well use ray cast so if i have to be like this close in order to pick up something like this all right so this is what i'm we're going to, we, we're picking it up right but we are still showing the, the reason is that the item dv is visible so we have to click on item dv game object and on the right it just uncheck this we're just going to use this for container but we're not going to show it so now if i press e right it's going to disappear and on the left if you see here item db we have cylinder edit and if the cylinder is not there in the items right and you can do it and you can also click on the plane see it's not going to pick it up because we are checking for tag items tag item so i'm going to pick it up uh and see the my item db is getting updated right so i have i have three objects and none in items press tab our infinite doesn't get updated so we, that's the next thing we're going to do update the slots the raw image that we have we're going to say inventory slots get component in children components in children this one and these are going to be raw images basically we're you know we have we have hold of this right so we, we're getting all this uh, you can rename this to slots uh, if you want to and then i'm going to say i'm going to run a loop with length plus plus and i'm going to check if the um, slots dot texture is empty there you go that's what i meant if it's empty then i'm going to make the update now i'm going to grab um this script the image script here so i'm trying to grab the key this this three has this uh image uh raw image script right i'm going to grab the texture from this so all have them remember i had attached texture to it there are one icon even though you don't see it on the uh, scene um, I'm going to grab that from here raw image so if you use get component to grab the script and that texture and then I'm going to break this loop hmm, let's run it alright looks good all right we have that okay now the magic is i'm going to press tab let's see what happens voila we have this it's pretty cool right but this is the second part i mean you know we are just adding them uh and that's pretty much it press e and all of them shows up in our inventory you know we're going to do continue this in the next episode in part three of inventory so yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys found it useful. Until next time, goodbye.